Hey guys, Tim over here at Player One Video Games. Uh, and yesterday was a, it was a heck of a day. Almost everything you see here was traded in yesterday. Uh, you guys made me work, which is good because it makes time fly by for us. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't care about that. Let's go ahead and just get to all the stuff we got in. Uh, so we got a PS1. Uh, we got a Wii U. Screen's not really the best condition on that, but hey, it's the Wii U at mm -hmm. least. Uh, another Jungle Green uh, N64. Beauty of it though, we finally got a first party controller oh, right. for it. Love it. Yeah, exactly. Stick's not too bad, but we might replace that one. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, got a Wii as well. I think that's really it for like the consoles, but hey, got another Metroid Prime at least. Let's check so, it. Yeah, exactly. Does it have the manual? It does, and apparently oh. it belonged to JW. JW. <laughs> oh, yeah. For forever, it's going to belong to JW. Right? Exactly. I can probably get that off. But yeah. Manual. Yeah, it's kind of a lost cause right there. Uh, but hey, you know, pretty decent PS4 titles in. Uh, Torment, Tides of Numenia. Uh, no, I'm not even going to pronounce it. Try and pronounce that. That one is sealed, though. Uh, we got Hellblade, uh, Sunua. Sun you know what? I, I'm just not going to say that. Hellblade. Right. <laughs> Hellblade, exactly. Um, uh, which is it's always nice to kind of have games that do have the uh, slip cover on mm -hmm. at least. Oh, you got you got to take this slip cover off and show that on here after once we get there. Oh, yeah, I love absolutely. That one. Yeah, uh, World of Final Fantasy. Uh, I don't really care too much for this one, even though I'm a big Final Fantasy buff. Uh, that's just me though. Uh, but it is a really interesting idea at least behind it. But uh, limited edition has its own little art book oh. with the game inside. Uh, I am know, Setsuna. That was a good game. <laughs> I like this one. That there's together like that. The game in the art book. You know, when it's you can't. It's not separate. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and that is basically the exact same thing as uh, you know. Yeah. Today is not my day already. Uh, Tomb Raider, or Rise of the Tomb Raider. Exact same thing. Mm-hmm. I love that. Exact. Because it's going to be with it forever. Thing. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really cool stuff. I always like whenever we get slip covers. Like I think this, so. every every game should have a book like that. That would be pretty neat. Yeah. I mean, there's so much hard work that goes into these games, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I always buy like art books, you know, for things all the time. So, uh, let's see. Uh, we got Pac-Man Museum, which I don't even know if we've ever seen that mm -mm. one in the store. Uh, Evil Within, again, another slip cover, but up, oh, just a regular game. Darn. Uh, another Evil Dead, the game. Uh, so if you guys want to do like a LAN party or something with PS5, <laughs> we got a few copies in. Uh, but yeah, uh, but let's go Yakuza Kiwami. One. Go slow with this one. Oh, okay. That's nice it. And slow. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, and that cool. And that thing looks like photo perfect. And put it, put it back, put her back on there. Let's see what I love that. Yeah. Look at that. That's awesome. Yeah, if I remember correctly, this should be the remake of the first game in the series. Okay. Uh, sadly, I don't think this has Mark Hamill in it. Oh, man. So, right. Yeah, I think he was the original Mojo. Uh, yeah, but hey, Mario Kart for Wii. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. I mean, it comes in, it comes out. Uh, stack of 360 games we literally got in like two minutes yeah. before we started filming this. Uh, Biggie's uh, Batman Arkham Origins. It is backwards compatible on Xbox One, Xbox Series, so... Uh, we'll see how long that one lasts, at least. Darkest of Days. Can I see that? Yeah, I was about to say, uh, this wasn't in our system at all. It looks like mm -mm. it's like a Civil War game. Somewhat, but they're also using modern huh. <laughs> ammunition. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder I, if it's yeah. time travel or something. Yeah, possibly. Oh, uh, well, I need to unfold this back, at least. But, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's, okay, that I'm going to have to look it up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see here. Another evil with them. Uh, Left 4 Dead 2, uh, Mortal Kombat. Everyone loves Mortal Kombat. Even, well, I don't know, DC Universe, but eh. Uh, <laughs> Lego Batman. Uh, that Lego Lord of the Rings is my favorite Lego game. Yeah. By far. Yeah, I think we actually still have like your copy like in a do not sell shop. Yes, I keep that one here. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but hey, you know, not too shabby. Just 360 games we never really see get in. Uh, but here we go with some good stuff right here for the N64. Uh, 1080 snowboarding, uh, NFL Blitz. That's what I'm talking about. We got Mario 64, uh, good old Diddy Kong. We got Golden Eye that's not mm -hmm. too shabby. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Shadows of the Empire, which I liked that game as a kid. It never really held 
to me it never really hold up held up mm -hmm. Ugh, i talk well um but i remember that they even made like a book for this mm -hmm. i remember reading that and getting kind of excited because that was like my kind of introduction to like the expanded universe kind of stuff for star wars uh that's also kind of where it ended so if you were to go to talk to me about like whoever <laughs> this the general or admiral thorn guy is it's just, I don't know. <laughs> i'm right. sure i'm sure it's fun uh you've got cruising world army man sarge's heroes mario party 2 the one that everyone swears is the best nice. yeah, that's it. <laughs> everybody loves the hats blast core i loved blast core as a kid i mean like whenever i was at a daycare center it was always exciting uh just being the giant robot and just just demolishing buildings did you look that's forward to going there. to the daycare center to play that game uh well not really but no it wasn't a good trade-off huh? yeah no not really not really it, it's a daycare you know? yeah there there were there was one day of care though that was about 24 hours uh, right off of um, uh, Highway 3 over around Webster and that was called Give Me a Break. I remember that place. I always went there when I was younger at least. So, you know, we're talking about like I'm being like 9 or 10 years old and my parents were working and you know, my dad wouldn't get home till like 2 in the morning. Um, but they had seven or eight CRT TVs all lined up back then. All of them had an original NES. That's pure it. heaven. It, it really was, because that's the only way I was able to play like the first Legend of Zelda, uh, Mega Man 2, Punch-Out. A lot of my memories are kind of tied to that when it comes to like, Were you like, Dad, Dad, take me to give me a break? <laughs> right? <laughs> that place was on Highway 3 and uh, uh, the Medical Center, I believe. In that... Yeah, yeah. It's like, I, I think it's like now like a, uh, a scrub store or something yeah, like right, that. Yeah, right, right. Or like right next to one around there. Yeah, it was around that little shopping center. But, let's see here. Uh, got another Super C. Uh, oh, Super Spike V-Ball. What I like about this. It's Canadian. We don't see that too often. Yeah, exactly. But, I like that. we went ahead and we did test it out. It does work on American systems. It's French. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, of course it does. It's NTSC. Mm -hmm. uh, but, I just had to just to double check but yeah there we go but here we go some game boy advance games uh, gradius galaxies we don't see that yeah, much that's nice uh, oh, super robot tyson 2 man forget about it we mm -hmm. never see that uh one of the metabots games uh which when we were play testing that real quickly at least uh like the theme song started playing from the cartoon show and whenever we did it on the uh game boy player which you have to watch oh yeah video for that we tested it out on that Audio quality was surprisingly pretty good on that. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it, it surprised me, that's for sure. Uh, let's see here. Sonic Advance 3. I enjoyed that one. I was more of a fan of 2, but Sonic Advance 3 is still a really good game. Uh, Final Fight 1. It is a Japanese copy, but thankfully all Game Boys are region free, so... Yeah, discounted price on that one. Uh, this one's interesting. Zone of the Enders. <laughs> on Game Boy Advance, which I actually never knew was a thing. The Fist of Mars. The Fist of Mars. <laughs> Thanks, Kojima. Yeah. <laughs> but I think the I think the real star right here is gonna be Minish Cap right That's there. That's it, yeah. Exactly. I mean Zotto Fever, you know that we have it playing on the background of the T V right now it is Fever Pitch. Uh I think everyone on Saturday and Sunday were at home playing it. <laughs> you would have been, so right, was, if you could have. Oh, <laughs> that was my Friday. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I think I'm the only one who, have, who hasn't bought it yet. But yeah. Connor bought two for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> one for him and also probably one for you. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mortal Kombat for Vita. Not too shabby. Uh, Super Mario World from the Game Boy Advance. So we never see these ones come in too often anymore. Um, we usually have either like the Yoshi's Island or uh, Super Mario 2 mm -hmm. or um, uh, Super Mario 3. We never really see World, so that's not going to be you know for too long, I think. So give us a call. Let us know if you want it. Um, and a ton of Transformer games. They'll just go down the line. Yeah, Transformer. And, oh. And another Metal Slug 7. Beautiful. It's pretty sweet. We, it's like we never see this, and then like in the last couple of months, we got like three traded mm -hmm. in. It's crazy. Uh, Nintendo Dogs. Everyone loves Nintendo Dogs. Yeah, Transformers. Yeah. Uh, Animal Crossing. Hey, another world of Final Fantasy, but on the Vita. Okay. Yeah, Assassin's Creed, and a PAL version of Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z. I know that's really hard to read. Mm -hmm. uh, 
But I think this is like the only uh, uh, release was a PAL version for okay. what I've been reading. Uh, but, you know, hey, what can you go ahead and play that on? Well, we got this really gorgeous white uh, PS Vita. It is a 2000 series, um, but it is in absurdly good condition. Might need a little bit of a cleanup at least, but that's pretty good. Uh, we got two PSPs in. We'll see how long that lasts. Mm -hmm. Everyone's been talking about PSPs. Uh, those screens are pretty good. Like a Game Boy Advance. Uh, oh, hey, look at Micro. that. Micro. Micro. Put in Minish right. Cap. Yeah, exactly. We'll see how bright this screen is. All right, you do have a charge, don't you? Yeah. You do. Nice, look at that. It's bright in here right now, too, and that is so easy to see. We're gonna try, really to, try to get a new um, screen cover, because you can snap those in and out, and try to get a new protector on that. There we go. Yeah, not too shabby. No, not that's too nice. shabby. There we go. Yeah. It's amazing. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah, I was about to say, all right, well, that's all the gameplay I can do for today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got Street Fighter 2 in box. So let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy real quick. That box always means so much to me because it's when I fell in love with the Super when this game came out. <laughs> And I bought that brand new, and I was playing my Super forever yeah, after so that. At the very least, it has a manual. Okay. It doesn't look like it has any of the... Oh, wait, no. Oh, my goodness. CIB++. It does have at least some of the ads. Hey, warranty Pajesco, though? I don't know. Maybe that's the real one. I don't know. <laughs> we don't I, know. I have no clue. Yeah. <laughs> but, hey, you know, not too shabby. Black and white manual, but... Maybe we have a color one back shabby. there that we can put in there. I don't yeah, know. We'll possibly. see. Possibly. Possibly. So, uh, then Castlevania, Dragon All right, Chronicles, nice. this one, also has Ooh. the manual, so good stuff, good stuff, uh, and then we'll go to the last used game real quick, uh, Alan Wake for the mm -hmm. 360, the limited edition for this one, uh, I actually really enjoyed this game, I'm not yeah, really too, too big into horror games or anything like that, um, but it had a nice little balance on everything. It's like you're playing a writer, and I think you're going through like your own stories, like happening in real time mm -hmm. or something like that. And you're kind of running from the uh, bad guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, shining your flashlight like it right. was uh, Luigi's Mansion or uh, yeah, something yeah. like that. Uh, but hey, it even looks like a book. So, I mean, pretty cool stuff. Uh, oh, five dollars off. It's not a day at work. I don't drop something. I'm sure the regulars know that at least. But hey. Yeah, it, it, this is straight up like an actual book. Yeah, here. that does. That's pretty neat right there, actually. I, I never even opened that up. Mm -hmm. uh, so, as an extra right like there. But uh, the cool things we also got here, and I think some of these are a few limited run games at least. Um, that might not be a common, you know, tell me how wrong I am in the comments below. Uh, but all of these three, or three, four, are all sealed. Uh, Toki for the. Uh, Nintendo Switch in this case, the Retrolector edition. <laughs> All right. It's, it's, uh, the, yeah. The, they tried. <laughs> they, they tried. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, only at GameStop. Well, uh, not anymore. You can mm -hmm. get it over here at Player One. Uh -huh. uh, let's see. We got a PS Vita version of the first Windjammers. Nice. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Completely sealed. Uh, yeah. There we go. Darius Burst. That's pretty sweet right there. Wow. Yeah, so... Let me see the back of that one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It shows a little bit of the gameplay. Yeah. All right, yeah, that looks good. It shows some shmup love. Yep, there we go. Limited run right there. $700. No, <laughs> uh, and then the very last one, which is probably the one we don't know the, anything about, uh, Next Machina. Yeah. And uh, I think this is the PS4 version of it. We'll, uh, we'll figure we'll it out. We'll figure yeah. it out. Yeah, exactly. But, hey... Just a whole bunch of. Get all this out of the way. Just a whole bunch of good stuff here at Player One Video Games. So go ahead, stop on by. We're in Friendswood, 101 West Parkwood Avenue in Southern Houston, Texas. Uh, give us a call, 281 992 4263. 4263 is GAME. Uh -huh. Right. Uh, but yeah, just you see anything here, give us a call. Let us know if you want to hold something for like about till the end of the day. And just stop on by. It'll be a great time. 